Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this twisted thermal ear warmer, which you can see here in the photo in front of you. As well, there are many other photos on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. And I also have my finished ear warmer here in front of you. So this is a twisted thermal ear warmer. Uh, it's a very easy pattern to work. Features a beautiful twist here in the front and then uh, solid all the way around. It has a little bit of stretch to it, which comes back. Uh, so it's a great pattern for wearing out. Uh, I wear my ear warmer uh, all the time at the moment. It's, uh, it's just a great piece to have. It's worked using this single crochet thermal stitch, which gives it this solid, uh, dense fabric but again one that has a little bit of give to it I've worked it in a lightweight yarn I'm using the superwash merino by line brand uh, yarns and uh, again it's a lightweight this is a 100% wool yarn and I'll be working it in this ice gray today you're also going to need a four millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the written instructions all of which are linked in the description of this video and the written instructions are on richtexturescrochet.com so thank you so much for joining me while you're here i invite you to take a look around uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials now the pattern i am working today is fitted for an adult uh, head so it's going to have a circumference of about 20 to 21 inches around it is easy to change the size of this pattern you can change the width there's no needed stitch count for it so if you'd like to have a more narrow band or one that's wider um, you can do that easily by just uh, starting with your foundation chain uh, crocheting as many chains as you would like then uh, when you see the pattern we're going to work it to whatever length you would like uh, again I'm working it to fit an adult head but you can work it smaller or larger as well so for our pattern it is worked in rows we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain the foundation chain for the adult size is going to be 22 chain stitches there's 10 15 and 20 21 and 22 once you have your foundation chain worked to the desired size we're going to start row one by working in the back loop only of our foundation chain. So when you're looking at the top of your chain, you have these nice little V's here up at the top. We're going to be working under that horizontal bar that's the furthest away from you. Okay, so we're going to start by working a single crochet, working in the back loop only into the second chain from your hook, and then into each chain again in the back loop only all the way across this is going to set us up so that we can begin working the single crochet thermal stitch so go ahead single crochet in the back loop only in that second chain and then into each chain all the way across at the end you can chain one and turn your work once you come to the end of your row, you're going to chain one and turn. Now I find when I'm working the thermal stitch, I'm not going to actually turn my work. Normally you'd turn it so that the wrong side was facing and that you'd work across. I like to kind of just turn it so it's going vertically so that the right side is still facing me at this point in time. What we're going to do is we're going to work a thermal stitch in the first stitch and each stitch all the way across. So to work your thermal stitch, you're going to insert your hook under, it would be the back loop only because it's the loop that's furthest away from you. Although when I have my right side facing, it is the front loop. But if you had turned your work, it's like it's the back loop only. 
okay? Then you're going to extend your hook down into the back loop only of that chain stitch that you worked two rows below. So you're inserting under both of those loops, yarn over, draw up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. And that's your thermal stitch. So you want to do that in each stitch all the way across. Now it gets tricky because you always want to make sure you're picking up the correct uh, stitch that's down two rows below. So insert your hook in the back loop only of the next stitch and into the back loop only of that foundation chain two rows below, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Continue that all the way across and then when you uh, come to the end, chain one and turn your work. Now I'm just working my final stitch. That final one can be a little bit challenging to see in these early rows. So if you need to, just make sure you're counting your stitches. Uh, you'll need to have 21 in each row each time. So you've come to the end, chain one. You're going to turn your work again. I like to kind of work it vertically so that wrong side or uh, the back side is still facing me. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to continue working rows of thermal stitches. So you're going to again thermal stitch. You're working through the back loop only of the next stitch and the stitch two rows below, thermal stitch, and then thermal stitch in each stitch all the way across. You're going to continue repeating that row two, so these rows of thermal stitches, continue repeating them until your work from the beginning measures approximately 22 inches. Now again, I mentioned that you can change the size of your uh, headband and you can do that uh, just make sure that you're going to add a little bit of extra length to it so I added about an inch this one fits about 21 inches and that's just because you're going to need the extra space to work the twist here at the end so continue working thermal stitches until your work from the beginning measures 22 inches or the desired length and then you can meet me back here and I will show you how to put the twist into your crochet ear warmer. Once you have your 22 inches worked or your desired length, you'll have a piece of fabric that looks like this. You can go ahead, fasten off and weave in any ends. We're now going to uh, cut a long piece of yarn and just thread it through your yarn needle there so you're ready to work this twist. To work the twist in the headband, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, lay it flat, bring your two shorter ends kind of together. Picking up your shorter ends, you're going to fold them over to make a U shape. So just fold them both over like so. You're then going to, keeping the wrong sides or the inside um, of your band together, I guess eventually that'll be the outside, but right now uh, our two insides are facing one another and you're going to just slide them in so that they're laying interlocking and stacked together. Okay, so I'll show you again. You've picked up your two sides. You have your two U's here with that front side facing. You're going to just kind of stack them together so that they are interlocking just like so. You can see all four uh, of the layers here in the band. You're now going to sew it together. So taking your yarn needle and your little bit of yarn, you can go ahead and start. I liked to start by just making a little bit of a knot so that's quite secure. I left a little bit of a longer tail so I can clean up and weave it in afterward. 
I just make a little knot there to secure it. You're now going to just quickly work a running stitch in and out, making sure that you are working through all four uh, thicknesses in the headband. Just like so. Go in and out. All the way across. Working through all four thicknesses. Once you come all the way across, you can secure it once again. And then go ahead and weave in that tail. Weave in your other tail also. Trim any other loose ends. Turn your band right side out. And you have a beautiful twist in front. And that's all there is to working this twisted ear warmer thermal ear warmer. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.